Bluefin Robotics makes submersibles, autonomous underwater vehicles known as AUVs, built for exploration, discovery, and defense. But more recently, their technology has been used for airplane search and recovery, including Malaysia Flight MH370. Why was your vehicle chosen to help with the search and recovery for the Malaysia flight? Our vehicle supports that because it's easily broken down into small modular pieces and rapidly shipped around the world. Earlier this year, the Bluefin 21 spent three weeks searching for the Malaysia flight, an $11 million U.S. effort to locate the missing jet. Now, another recovery effort that Bluefin could help with is underway. Would your vehicle be good to use in the Air Asia crash? It can be employed in that if need be. Our vehicle could help map a debris field if it was located, and then that can also help uh, provide faster response time for collecting things like flight data recorders, voice data recorders, that sort of thing. The wreckage of Flight 8501 has been found, but the debris could be scattered across the ocean floor. It's the type of mission that's helped increase Bluefin's business by 15% this year. And in the case of the AirAsia plane, their AUVs could once again be on the front line. They often spend 25 hours underwater searching for a plane and cost half a million to five million dollars. When you think about it, it's actually not that much money. I mean, ship, ship time is tens of thousands of dollars a day to hundreds of thousands of dollars a day, depending upon the type of ship. So AUVs help make ship time more efficient. So by that, you can actually recoup ship time by using vehicles. When the Bluefin is in the water, an operator on board the ship will program its search path. From there, it's on its own. At up to 5,000 meters, it uses sound sonar to record what it senses on the ocean floor. When the Bluefin surfaces, the operator can download its data and see images like these. How do I know if I'm looking at a rock or a black box? you have to be a trained sonar analyst. One of the things that's really amazing about this technology is over the years is the resolution of the systems has, has increased in uh, quite a lot of detail. So as you can see right there, that's kind of a field of rocks on the left. As the resolution improves and the technology gets more efficient and the systems get better at delivering higher quality data, interpretive risk goes down. Is there an emotional part of doing what you do? Absolutely. I mean, there's always an emotional element to something like this. You, you know, you never, you never want to be a part of a tragic event like this. You never want these things to happen in the world. But, you know, if we can help in any way we can, I think we should.